Hey guys, no zoo for you here, and today we're going to talk about the HMS Campbelltown. A little while ago, I had a great round in the Campbelltown. 2,000 XP, which more than doubled anyone else on my team, and 100,000 damage. Not bad for a Tier 3 Destroyer. Tried telling people this, and they didn't believe me. They said, Zoop, Campbelltown sucks. How do you play the Campbelltown? Well, I'm going to tell you. First, you need to be very deliberate with the Campbelltown. You can't go rushing in. You need to use your terrain to your advantage. The Campbelltown has a lot of cool features though that sets it apart. First, it's got 7.5 kilometer torpedoes. It's got phenomenal range for tier 3. Also, the good thing about the Campbelltown is its concealment. It's got 6.5 kilometer concealment. This means you have a stealth fire buffer of 1 kilometer. Again, for tier 3, that is awesome. Now, there are a couple downsides for the Campbelltown, mainly in its torpedoes. Its torpedoes only fire one per side. One salvo, that is. So you get three on your port side, three on your starboard. This means that after you fire off one salvo, you gotta turn all the way around. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the Campbelltown is not the quickest turning ship in the game. So, talking about being deliberate. In this round I had, I kinda loitered around the middle cap point. I used the terrain to my advantage. I planned out my shots very, very carefully. In Tier 3, the ships are very, very slow, so battleships are going to be snacks for the Campbelltown. That's going to be your main focus right there. Another good thing about the Campbelltown is its HE. Its HE is actually pretty decent and has a very good chance of setting fires. I found that to be the case at least, and you see that in this gameplay. Now, when you're out in the open water, Campbelltown really shines. Another reason for that, again, is its cell fire capability. 7.5 kilometers in a tier 3 battle can be downright deadly. One thing you gotta be cognizant of though is when you turn to fire your other set of torpedoes, you wanna make sure that you're not turning into the ship if you're too close. One reason for that is you don't wanna find yourself in a situation where you blow your concealment. So, after you fire your first salvo, depending on where you're at, you may wanna turn away from the enemy ship. Again, had a very good round with the Campbelltown. It's not as bad as people think it is. It just takes a little time and you need to be very deliberate. It's not the most exciting gameplay in the world. Anyhow, I'm gonna get out of the way right now. I'm gonna let the video play out, see what I did, see how I was successful in this round. I made a couple mistakes, but nothing that wound up getting me sunk. Enjoy the video. Remember, Campbelltown in the hands of an experienced player at tier three can be downright deadly. Give this ship a chance. It might surprise you. Anyhow, stay tuned for more Help and Instant episodes and Real Warship Genius. This has been No Zoo for You. Torpedoes direct front.
Smoke screen set. Engine boost deactivated.
cruiser. Engine boost deactivated. 